I'm James Williams with Discovery News. Last April, Discovery News correspondent Irene Klotz managed to grab a rare interview with noted physicist Stephen Hawking. He was in Florida at the time preparing to go on a zero-gravity flight. She shared with me what it was like to sit down and talk with one of the world's most interesting and best-known scientists. It actually was one of the most uh, rewarding experiences I've had as a journalist. Why do you want to fly in space? Do you think it's going to change your perspective in some manner? You have ample time just to sit and think. There's no sense that you're going to miss the quote. Uh, there's no sense of being hurried. Um, you are forced to operate in this very quiet, still place. It was very meditative. He communicates by using his eyes to select words in a, a computer system that's been pre-programmed with um, I guess words and phrases and things that he uses often. He also, in a very painstaking process, can reconstruct the new words. So he, he will just select things. It takes a good five minutes between the time when a question is asked and for the response to come. I think the human race doesn't have a future if it doesn't go into space. When the first synthesized voice came out, I just made a little comment. Nice British accent. And I didn't expect any kind of response to that. I was kind of just making a little joke. And he, uh, he went, you know, through his hunt and peck routine, and I didn't even know what he was replying to. And But he came out a few minutes later and said, Most people say my accent is American. So it was just kind of funny to, uh, um, to see his sense of humor.